So you're a London system player and you want to get really sharp uh, in those tactical positions that can happen. So well, then this video is for you because today we are going to work with tactical positions that can happen in London system. Many of these positions are common, are typical, and they will definitely help you once they uh, happen in your own games. You are much more likely to find a solution. So today we are solving tactics that happened in games with London system opening. So without further delay, let's get started. So in this one, it is white to move and white is winning. As usual, we work with checks first. So the most tempting move for a situation like this is rook takes g7. I'm assuming king takes g7 is forced and then we can play queen g5 check and they can play king h7 or king h8 and then we will take the knight on f6. Once we get into the situation where it's in the checkmate on g7, they don't have a check on c1 because the queen is controlling. So I think we are going to be winning if that actually uh, happens, right? So I'm going to play it because that seems correct. So rook g7, uh, queen g5, and pawn takes knight. Observe that if they play rook g8, we have mate on h5. Uh, they give the check, and we already said that the queen is guarding c1, so we can just take the queen on c1. So that one was correct. So let's analyze another puzzle. Okay, well, it is white to move here. Uh, let's see how can we get uh, some advantage in some way. So, um, checks, they are not working. Captures, I don't think we are getting much with this. I mean, it's an idea, but I'm really tempted by a move that is a threat. I'm looking at knight g5, because I'm threatening queen h7 with checkmate. I know he can take my knight, but then after I take a h takes a g5, I'm threatening mate again. So this looks very tempting. So let's analyze. Knight g5, they take h takes, I'm threatening mate. So basically the only thing they can do is move the rook to e8 and then I assume this is the right move, queen a7 and then after king f8 um, probably we don't have to give the check, right? Because the king is trying to escape over here. So probably we can play something like g6 first. This is interesting because I'm threatening checkmate and trying to open this line so I can use queen and rook and at the same time I'm clearing the line for the bishop so I can give checks over there. Or maybe here on a6. So yeah, that looks uh, very good. That looks like winning. So knight g5, pawn takes, pawn takes, rook e8, queen check, king f8, and then g6. And I, I'm sure we're winning that position. So I'm going to play that on the board. Knight g5. Well, f5. I saw we had the capture on person. At least I didn't talk too much about it. Also, I see that I have knight takes e6. So we need. We should decide what's better. Uh, so let me check for a moment. Um, I don't like that he's taking here in some lines. Attacking queen, attacking rook. And also there's a pain, so I cannot take the knight on e5. So probably pawn takes pawn looks much better if he takes with the queen I have made. So he has to capture with the rook. And then I can give a check on a7. I'm not going to calculate much more because that looks very good, even if I don't have a, an immediate mate or something that looks very good so yeah this looks correct okay perfect and here we said check and yeah that looks correct we are clearly winning in that position i mean we have shack shack we have many options there fork after the king goes to the six so yeah this is perfect okay well let's go uh to the next this time it is white to move and i see there is a threat over here there is a pawn here maybe c2 well, it is white to move, so let's see how we can deal with this. We have like a piece down in this position. But also we have like two pawns for, for the piece. So I'm looking at d6, because I'm taking the rook and I'm discovering over here. And then he's taking, if he takes my knight, I just take the rook. Uh, d6, what else can he play? He can play queen b4, threatening mate. But then I can play uh, d6, queen b4. Yeah, if I move my knight, he's, uh, he's taking my bishop with check. So I, that's definitely wrong. So d6, queen b4, b3 is an alternative. He's playing queen a3. Again, that's not looking fine. Because I don't see how I'm, how I'm stopping this. So maybe instead of d6, 
Spawn takes spawn. Again, I'm attacking the knight. I'm attacking the rook. So let's take a look at that. Pawn takes pawn. Again, queen b4. And then... Uh, I mean, I can take one knight with check, for example. But I still have a big problem here, right? With the mate. So, yeah. Sounds like we should prevent this queen b4 idea. So I'm looking at knight b3 first. Attacking the queen. And then I have all the discovered ideas. And the best thing is that... If he tries to attack my queen, I so, sorry, my uh, I mean my bishop, uh, I can play rook d4. Then I'm attacking the queen back, and then I can continue with these ideas of pawn takes pawn or d6. So yeah, knight b3 first, and then I'm winning material after knight b3. That's what I can see here. So let's try it, knight b3, queen b6, and here the question is d6 or pawn takes pawn. What's better? Well, uh, probably pawn takes pawn is better, right? We're getting one pawn. Uh, why not, right? Why not? So yeah, pawn takes pawn, let's say, and yeah, that is correct. Let's go to the next. Okay, uh, why to move? Okay, this is a super classical uh, puzzle, a super classical uh, pattern. I mean, if it is what I think it is going to be, uh, it is the double bishop sacrifice, where we can sacrifice the two bishops here, and then mate with the major pieces controlling here and here. It can happen in London, of course, but it can also happen in any or in many or opening, so it's very important to understand this idea. As I said, we're going to sacrifice the bishops to open the king, and then with the major pieces, rook and queen, we will have a checkmate situation. We start with bishop takes pawn, king takes bishop, queen check, king goes back, and then bishop takes g7. At this point, uh, the main line is when they take the bishop on g7, and it's not the only move, but it's the main line. And then we can play um, check, 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 king g7. Well, the rook is already left. Uh, you know, on the third rank, so we can just play rook g3 check. If they play king here, we have mate. So the alternative is when they actually block here because they want to escape with the king over there. So bishop takes, king takes, queen check, king goes back. Uh, bishop takes g7, king takes g7. Rook g3 check, bishop g4. I'm looking at queen g5 first, so I make sure the king does not escape and the king has to stay on the edge of the board. And then I can play rook takes bishop or even queen takes bishop. Yeah, this is going to be made. So yeah, that looks like winning. So I'm going to play it. Double bishop sacrifice. And then, uh, yeah, they stop uh, the puzzle there because after king takes, rook check is going to be a win. Interesting. Okay, well, uh, why to move here? I see we have queen h5, right? Very tempting. Or we should work with checks first. And this is why we sh should work with checks first. There is this move bishop a7 that we should analyze. Because if he plays king takes bishop, we can play queen h5 check. He plays king g8 and then we can play h takes g5. And this is very interesting. We are certainly made over here. And I don't see how he's escaping from this. So that's why we should always work with checks. I was I was actually working with pawn takes pawn directly. But I, this move is probably a little better. So bishop a7 check, if they don't take, I'm still playing queen h5. And this is also winning, because I'm going to discover and mate on h7. So yeah, it's really nice puzzle. I'm going to play it on the board, because I think it's pretty clear once we find the idea. So check, they move, and then queen... Wait, queen h5 is the move I said initially. Pawn takes pawn is an option, but that's not better than queen h5. So queen h5 is correct, and that's winning for white, because of this and this. I'm going to select next. Okay, why to move here? We have material equal. Actually, we have a pawn down. So let's see how can we win here. We don't have shacks, but we have captures. So knight takes knight. It's very tempting. And if they take with the bishop, I'm going to pair rook d1. They're not attacking the queen. And they need to defend the bishop. The only move is queen b4. I can trade queens, and then I can pair rook d4. Attacking bishop, attacking bishop. That looks like winning, right? The alternative is knight takes knight, queen takes knight, because there are certain checkmates, so I cannot take the bishop on c5 with my rook. However, I can play something in between, like bishop to f3, attacking queen, attacking bishop. I mean, a skewer, and also taking here. So that should be winning for whites. So knight takes knight, bishop takes is like the main line. We set rook here, 
and there's nothing for the queen, right? The only move is b4, and it's not working either. We trade, and we play rook here, and that's getting one piece. So I'm going to play that on the board. Now it takes knight. He takes with the bishop, rook d1. We trade queens, and then the fork, both bishops hanging on the fourth rank, rook d4, and rook takes the bishop. Okay, perfect. Let's go to the next. It is a white to move here. Uh, let's see, equal material. I mean, in pieces, but we have like two pawns down. Something I noticed here is that the queen is like trapped. The queen cannot move, right? So if I attack the queen, I might be able to get it. So let's analyze this. Rook to f3. There's nothing they can play with the queen, although they can try this move. Knight to g4. The idea is that if we take the queen, they fork, we move, and they take our queen. Hmm. Interesting. So, rook f3, knight g4, what can we play in that position? I see we have bishop takes a7, but king takes a7, and we don't really get much with that. So, rook f3, knight g4... Um, hmm. I'm looking at something like queen f1, so I make sure he doesn't have the check, but I'm still taking his queen. That's interesting. So, uh, queen f1, he still can't find a good score for the queen. He can play knight f2, and then I can just take the, the knight, and I get one piece. So, yeah, that looks like working. So I'm going to play it on the board, rook f3. Oh, they do the same thing, but over e4. Interesting. So knight e4, I think, I suppose we can do the same thing. Like queen f1, make sure this is not a problem. And then we're getting the queen on e3. Yeah. Okay. That looks like working, right? Exactly. Interesting puzzle. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see one last. Here, it is a white to move. And... White should be winning. So we have equal material, but there is a pain, but also there is a checkmate threat here. So how can we deal with this? Okay, well, I see that the checkmate threat is not really made if we move the rook. And the king can escape over f1, e2, and it's going to be totally, I mean, not totally bad, pretty safe uh, in that position because the file is blocked. And there is no mate. So I'm looking at this move. Rook c1. Because there is a pin. And there is a weakness there. So they can check. I can move. They can check. I can move. And they can check. And I can block. For example. Or, uh, or move. But I could say block. So they can play rook c8. And then I can trade. They take back. And then I can play rook c1. Too much pressure here on the pin the rook. So the queen is on h5, they don't have shacks, and also they don't have a way to defend the rook on c6. So I'm pretty sure that's the right line. I don't see how they are dealing with this pressure. So I'm going to play it on the board. Rook c1, they defend, we trade first. Uh, they shack here in f1. We increase the pressure on the pinned rook. They shack, that's something we already expected, and then we play king e2. At this point, they sacrifice the queen, and then, of course, we take it. Okay, perfect. So, thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Subscribe, like, check out this video over here. I'm sure you will enjoy it. Play the right move, and see you in the next.